Marseille, home of the company directed by Roland Petit. For nearly 40 years, Roland Petit has been one of the most important figures in European ballet, particularly for the male dancer. He started out as a young man fresh from the Paris Opera Ballet School, making his first ballets when he was 20. Since then he has worked in every kind of theatre, from review to opera houses, and with many outstanding male dancers, including himself and Fred Astaire. Here he is with Richard Cragen, principal dancer of the Stuttgart Ballet. Petit is teaching him the role of the hunchback in his ballet Notre Dame. Since the war, Petit has been at the center of French cultural life. He's been influenced by the artists, the writers, and musicians around him. The, I had the luck of being very curious when I was a young boy, so I was very much impressed by the people I've met when I was a child, and people I, I, I went to see work, like I saw Picasso painting, for example. And I think that the literature and uh, the music, the architecture, everything, uh, the people in the street, and uh, everything is a great influence on me. And that yes. made me be a choreographer, I mean, yes. to be able to photograph all the things that were interesting me everywhere and put them in my work. Bien. Show your, your. Petit is certain the male dancers are technically getting better and better. The muscles that progressed and, uh, and uh, uh, naturally the dancers are able to do technically things they were not doing before. For example, before when a dancer was doing a few pirouettes, it was very brilliant. Now certain dancers, Peter is, is one of them, do, uh, do really the sort of ice skating, you know, uh, just they, they found the gyration who is so powerful and so strong that they can, they can pirouette as much as you do on, on ice skating, which is one example, and there is many others. adamant about the importance of the male dancer today. Ballerinas were the girls from the dancer from the last century. This century really are the men. It started with, 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 with Nijinsky and then more and more every choreographer give more part to the dancer who is not only the man who is carrying the girl or the man who is just doing a variation. He's the man who is carrying the whole ballet, interpreting the leading part and doing all the possibilities who are new to to do with the, the body of a man, you know. Roland Petit has always liked to tell a story in his ballets. He has often been fascinated by grotesque characters and has given them improbable and wonderful life in the theater. But he has also created roles around traditional romantic heroes like Franz Schubert, in his The Loves of France, danced here by an exceptional young dancer, Jean-Charles Schill, a member of his company in Marseille.
Of course, the way choreographers shape dances is one of the main things that shapes a company's style, provided that the choreographer is working permanently with his own company. Et partez, hop, hop, prends la bombe, hop, par, hop, partez, hop. Maurice Béja and his ballet of the 20th century in Brussels is a phenomenon of the dance world. He has attracted a young new audience to ballet, and he has taken ballet to them by performing his works in circuses and sports halls, as well as in the theater. His dancers are international, and his ballets are international, because he uses ideas taken from many countries west and east. For me, dancing, uh, it's a unity. Uh, even if I was trained first like a classic dancer, very soon I discover some modern school of dancing in Germany and especially in America. Then I travel a lot and I study so out of Asia and I study Indian dance and I saw that it was important now that the communication in the world is so short and uh, very soon we are going to be only one globe, one earth. And nobody can say that Shakespeare is English. Shakespeare belongs to the world. You know, it's Japanese, Shakespeare. You play Shakespeare in South America. You play it in Africa. I saw it, you know. So you cannot say that one form of art belongs to one country. So we have to study carefully the dance from all the country and try to make our modern art of dancing just by the knowledge of what has been done in different culture and to go one step more to find what's going to be the dance of today and even for tomorrow. Besha believes that dancing is essentially for men. Hop. Hey, hop. Hop. One of his most recent works is his Mass for the Future, no, Michel, pass. which Michel. shows the development of the spirit of man from his primitive origins to the coming age of robots. Here he is working on a section called Ritual, in which dances represent the four elements. One of the company's stars, Michel Cascar, rehearses his role as the spirit of fire. avec ce pas de le faire un peu plus en diagonale. Tu vois, après les deux tours secondes, quand il finit, hop, en bas là. Plus danser, ça aussi, tu vois. Bien sûr, c'est des talons, mais, mais un peu plus danser. C'est à part en mettant des petites bottes, mais c'est une danse de gaucho. Tu vois, il faut que ça ait un côté plus... Tu vois, et ça, ça se refait par exemple classique. For Patrice Turon and Grazia Galante, Béja is creating a powerful pas de deux, symbolizing Earth. Like Roland Petit, Béja has seen a dramatic increase in the technical ability of his male dancers. I think in the recent years, I can say in the last 15 or 20 or 15 years, the level what you ask for the technique is increased fantastically. And it's sometimes I'm scared by it because then you don't know where it's going to stop. Finally, the whole company unites in a dance of joy. <laughs> 